All right, gonna do a video showing you how Roman Catholic priests are actually using a tactic straight out of Satan's playbook. And that is to take people away from the word of God. Because in Roman Catholicism, they have what's called the magisterium, where the church is essentially the final standard, not from the scripture. So you go to the church first, then the word of God. That's what the Catholic magisterium would say. I've shown that in other, other videos. And essentially their final standard is the Pope, not the word of God. And this is straight out of Satan's playbook because, you know, you, you go back and forth with Catholics. They essentially have all these just, you know, canned answers they give you that they're just being told by their priests and they're not actually looking in the word of God themselves. I know because I've been dealing with them quite a lot, but how is, how is this, how is, how is them taking people away from the word of God, Satan's playbook? Well, Luke chapter eight, verse number 12 says those by the wayside are they that hear then cometh the devil and taketh away the word out of their hearts lest they should believe and be saved see he uh, the devil and the context is you know it talks about the seed is the word of god in verse uh, in verse 11 uh, the devil will take try to get you away from the word of god and will try to take the word of god away from you exactly what roman catholic priests will do when they'll when they'll say because you, you you can hear testimonies of former catholics saying you know their priest told them not to read the bible just be a good catholic you know go to mass and whatever else yeah they don't want their people reading the bible just like satan their father uh satan wants to prevent you from hearing the words of god much like how a roman catholic pope uh the roman catholic popes try to prevent the holy scriptures from being, from being in the hands of the common laity during the uh, times of the inquisitions because well the catholic popes are of satan obviously satan will change the word of god as well in genesis chapter 3 verse 1 to 4 satan questions and changes what god stated in genesis 2 verse 16 to 17. And also, when it comes to the scriptures, they say, well, you have to go to the church to learn, you know, and th there is the, there is a scriptural truth to that, that you do, you can learn from older brethren. You can talk, you read about that in uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2. Um, I'm pretty sure it's first, it's either 1 or 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2. I don't have the thing off the top of my head, but uh, who is the ultimate teacher of the word of God, though? See, if you have no teacher, who is your ultimate teacher? Well, it's God. It's the Lord Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 24, verse 45. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Okay, Jesus Christ is the infallible interpreter of scripture, not the antichrist popes or priests. The Godhead is who gives interpretation of scripture. See, uh, while it is scriptural, you know, to learn from older brethren if you're younger, uh, ultimately Jesus Christ and, you know, the Holy Ghost will guide you to all truth, John 16, 13. And also 1 John chapter uh, 2, verse 20 and verse 27, talk about how, you know, you, you need not that any man teach you, but the same teacheth you, teach you of all things, talking about the Holy Ghost, paraphrasing, of course. But ultimately, the Holy Ghost is your teacher, if you have no elders or anything else. And the thing is, too, is that the reason why the Catholic priests want to get you away from the scriptures or final authority is because, well, at that point, they can't just, you know, say anything, any kind of doctrine, or proclaim any kind of doctrine and say, well, you must believe it. Because then you can, you can go back to them and say, wait a minute, what does the word of God say? See, the popes and the priests hate the idea of actually being held to a final standard above themselves. So I wanted to point that out. Roman Catholicism is a cult, plain and simple. It's got all the hallmarks of a cult scripturally and also by dictionary definition so don't be deceived by romanism may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye Thank you.